Good morning. My name is Pastor Herb Roberts. This is the Word of Faith Church. And the message this morning is people forget. We need to be reminded on a constant basis of God's love, His mercy, and His grace. Israel, back in the day, they kept, kept forgetting about God's love and how He provided for them and how they, <coughs> He fought their battles. <coughs> Today, I, I hope and pray that this message will be a reminder of how much God loves us and how much we need Him. Stay tuned. I think you're going to enjoy this message. The story that we're going to share this morning it was sent into uh, Daily Bread by Cindy. Casper, and it's a story about a lady who goes up to her pastor and she tells him that he, she noticed that he has been repeating himself a lot in his messages, and she wanted to know why that was. Well, the pastor, being a very patient pastor and very kind and polite, said politely, it's because people forget. We do. We have a tendency to forget a lot about everything that goes on around us. And some of the reasons we forget is the passage of time. Like, I don't remember what I did when I was five years old. Now, it's, it, some, me, some people do. You know, don't get me wrong, but I don't. And the other thing could be that we're growing older. And as we get older, things we don't retain, okay? It's all I'm gonna say about it. And then the other thing is we're busy. This is a busy society, and as, uh, the further we go ahead, the busier we get. You know, things back in the old days weren't so busy. I mean, not like they are today. Computers and we're running around, and you know, all the family is working, mother and dad. Before, it used to be just dad brought home the bread, and, and Ma took care of the kids. And, but it ain't like that today. Everything is so busy and it's hard to p compile all of that in your mind. Uh, for instance, tell me what you had for breakfast a week ago. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. We're just so busy. Unless you had the same thing for breakfast every day of your life, you couldn't answer that. So just some of the things that we forget people's names, for instance. Uh, <laughs> I don't know how many times I have been in a, a supermarket or something. Somebody will come up and tap me on the shoulder and they'll say, Hi, Herb, how you doing? And I'll say, carry on a conversation with them, you know. Oh, yeah, I'm doing great. How are you? How's the kids? You know, and all that. And then they walk away and I'll ask the wife, Who in the heck was that? <laughs> I am terrible with names. <clears throat> and, and so we forget where we put our keys to the car. <clears throat> I looked for two days for the set of keys to my pickup truck. I finally found them. But the worst part is, <laughs> I go to Walmart, I forget where I put the pickup truck. <laughs> so, we forget, okay? There's a little, little joke I want to share with you about a young man and wife, and they just had a little baby, and, and uh, he, you know, you're not used to babies, and so he was called his mother, and he said, Mom, he says, my wife is a little <clears throat> negative towards me and she says well why is that honey and he says well I don't know he says the other day we were getting ready to go he says and I put the car seat in the car and I got the stroller and he says I got the, the diaper bag he said and she gets all <clears throat> all she could talk about is I forgot the baby <laughs> so the past I, I've never forgot a baby but I have forgot where I popped the truck in the parking lot okay so people people say that you know that as you get older, your mind gets fuller and you got so much in there that, uh, like a computer, you have to delete some things, you know, before you can put something new. And I got a computer that does that. A screen pops up and tells me, you're out of disk space. Well, I'm out of brain space, according to that. But it's true. I mean, we have to get rid of some things, I think, before we can put something new in. But the problem with our brain compared to a computer is, computer, you can delete what you want. But the brain deletes what it wants, and you have no idea what it was you forgot. <laughs> so, 
preacher's right. We do forget. We're a forgetful people, just like Israel. Israel was always forgetting what God had done for them. I mean to tell you, the miracles that they seen God do, how could you possibly forget? But they did. But they did. They forgot His love, His mercy, and His grace. It's beyond me. And so, He puts them in a, a predicament. The desert. Forty years. He says, I'm going to help you remember. Forty years should do it. <laughs> Two days would have done it for me. But anyway, so they're out there in the wilderness, and they're wandering around. <clears throat> they have no food. So they're hungry, God's plan. And so when they get complaining to God and to Moses, and, and so God sends them what he, the superfood. It, it had your vitamin A, B, C, D, E, F, and G, H, I, J, and a K for good measure. But, and, and God called this food manna, and they had it every day. They, you know, another thing they did in the desert, God did for them? Think about this. Their clothes never wore out. They had the same clothes 40 years. You never had to go to a, a superstore and, and buy shoes and shirts and socks and pants. And you, It never wore out. It's amazing. It, that alone would, would do it for me. And so they're in the wilderness. They have snakes and they have scorpions. 40 years, nobody got bit. Nobody got bit by a snake or a scorpion. He provided water for them from a rock. Ugh. He loves them so much. How could they forget him? Don't ask me, ask them, I guess. <clears throat> he provided, he cared for them, he, he nurtured them. <sighs> it says in Deuteronomy 8, which was where I'm headed now, in verse 2, he says, You shall remember all the ways which the Lord your God had led you into the wilderness these 40 years, that he might humble you, test you, to know what is in your heart, whether you will keep his commandments or not. He humbled you and let you go hungry. He fed you manna, which you did not know, nor did your fathers know, that he might make you understand that man does not live by bread alone, but by every word that proceedeth out of the mouth of God. Your clothes did not wear out, nor did your feet swell these 40 years. Whew! God was faithful. He is faithful. And that faithfulness continues for all generations. <coughs> Excuse me. It says in Psalms 100, verse 5, For the Lord is good. I'm going to repeat that just because it's worth repeating. The Lord is good. His unfailing love continues forever. And His faithfulness continues to each generation, past, present, and future. That's amazing. The Bible... <coughs> It's just as current today as it was 2,000 years ago. The Bible, like God's truth, is of for every generation upon this earth. Everyone. His truth shall not be stopped. I don't care. You can't... <clears throat> you're not going to quiet the Word of God. I don't care <clears throat> what government... Who's, <laughs> who's in charge, God's word will never be stopped. Take that to the bank. Jesus provided salvation for all the generations, like I said, past, present, and future, with his sacrifice upon the cross of Calvary. Proof positive that God loves us beyond our own understanding of him. <clears throat> Praise God from whom all blessings flow. Praise Him, all creatures here below. Praise Father, Son, and Holy Ghost. Whenever we get forgetful, and we forget the fact that God loves us and cares for us, 
<coughs> for whatever reason you might forget, we can always remember that God answers our prayers. He's always there, wherever we need Him, whenever we need Him. He's always one step ahead of us. He leads us and He provides for us. And that should be a reminder of His goodness and His faithfulness. And the promise that, <coughs> excuse me, all that we know and love Him <coughs> is forever. <coughs> Hebrews 13.5 Keep your life free from the love of money and be content with what you have. For he has said, I will never leave you nor forsake you. That's a promise that will be forever. Continuous, non-stop, has no end. <coughs> I like that. Bow your head. I'm going to have a prayer. Father, thank you. You always are faithful. You always help us. Help us today to trust you in whatever we face today or tomorrow or whenever. We need you. We may not realize it, but we do. And I'm asking, Father God, that you keep a constant reminder in our minds, our hearts, that you love us back more than we could ever imagine. Thank you, Father, in Jesus' name. Amen. Now, this morning, I don't know if you're a Christian or not. I don't know if you even remember God or if you don't even care about God. But God cares about you. And like I said, he sent his son upon the cross of Calvary for our sins, for the forgiveness of our sins, that we might live with Him forever in eternity. But you can't if you don't have Jesus in your heart. So I'm going to say a prayer this morning. You can follow with me. Say it to yourself after me. It's a simple little prayer called the sinner's prayer. It goes like this. Father, I know I'm a sinner. Lord, in the best way I know how, I ask you to come into my heart. I ask you to come into my life. Father, forgive me of my sins. And there are many. Cleanse me with the blood of Christ. Wash me. Make me clean. That I may live with you in eternity forever. Amen. Now, if you prayed that prayer, down at the bottom of this YouTube video, you'll find comments. Send me a comment. Say, Pastor, I prayed that prayer. And I will... Get back with you, talk to you if you have any questions. You have a good week. I'll see you back here next Sunday morning.